Hey guys, this is one of the most famous rocks on the planet. And I was curious, how much does this thing weigh? So first we got to find the volume and then multiply by the density. So I think this rock is shaped pretty much like an ellipsoid. And for an ellipsoid, if it has a radius in this direction of A, a radius in this direction of B, and a radius in this direction of C, the volume is just 4 thirds pi times A times B times C. So let's find the volume of this thing. First, I want to measure how wide is it. That's going to be equal to 2A. So I'm going to use my wingspan to measure the distance. I'm six foot six, so let's assume my wingspan is 6.5 feet. And there's one, two, three, four, five of my wingspans that measure the width of this rock. So that means that 2A is equal to 6.5 times 5, which is equal to 32.5 feet. And next, let's do 2C. So when I stand right here, you can see that the height of the rock is 1, 2, 3 times my height. So that's going to be 6.5 times 3, and that's equal to 19.5. I think the depth is about the same as the height. So 2B will also be equal to 6.5 times 3, or 19.5. So let's clean all this up, scoot these over, and I want to know what A, B, and C are equal to, so let's divide everything by 2. These will all cancel, and then 32.5 divided by 2 is equal to 16.25. And 19.5 divided by 2 is equal to 9.75. So both of these are 9.75. Let's scoot these over, give them a label of feet, and let's calculate what we're doing here. So the volume is equal to 4 thirds pi times A, which is 16.25, times B, which is 9.75, and then times C, which is another 9.75, so I'm going to square it. After we do all these calculations, we get approximately 6,470.70, and that'll be cubic feet. So next we need the density. Granite weighs 168.6 pounds per cubic foot. So if we just multiply these two numbers, we'll get the total weight. It ends up being 1,090,960.02 pounds. And we've now found the total weight. We can put a box around it. And this is what it says the weight is online, 1,360,000 pounds. So based on my calculations, they overestimated by about 25%. Hopefully they see this video so they can fix it. How exciting.